And now our final topic tonight, an ancient love story just recently revealed by Israeli archaeological experts. The researchers publishing evidence found in the Israeli Negev desert of a 50,000-year-old meat cute between Homo sapiens, or modern humans, and their Neanderthal cousins, proof that the two species apparently not only intermingled, but may have reproduced. And of course, to provide us with all of the details, I'm joined now for the latest installment of Can You Dig It? with Israeli tour guide Anat Harel. Anat, it is a pleasure to have you back with us. Where did Neanderthals come from exactly, and, and what were they doing in the Negev Desert? Hi, Aaron. So nice to see you again. So we have to go back about, first of all, about, about a million eight hundred thousand years ago when Homo erectus was the first hominid that walks out of Africa, all right? So they walk out of Africa and they spread into Europe and they spread into Asia and eventually to Australia. And that's where they live for over a million years, evolving and evolving. And eventually some of the branches become the Neanderthals. The Neanderthals start about 250,000 years ago, mostly living in Europe and Asia. Eventually, they make themselves their, their, their way down south into the Levant, and that's where we live, right? We mm -hmm. are on the Eastern Mediterranean, and we in Israel have found uh, remains of the Neanderthals um, up to about 60, 50,000 years ago in Israel. And so uh, what happens is that eventually, in Africa, uh, there's another group of, of, of hominids who start evolving, and they become modern humans. They leave Africa about 60 to 70,000 years ago and make their way north. And what happens is that the Andethals, who have no connection to the homos, to the modern humans, eventually meet up right here in our little tiny piece of land. We are the crossroads between these continents, we are the crossroads yeah, is, between is, is, Africa, is, is, Europe, and Asia. Is, so is that unity, or is that meeting really unique to Israel then? Yes, it, it's the only place in the world where we have now concrete proof that Neanderthals actually met Homo sapiens sapiens, modern humans, and they lived together in the same places, and they even interbred they coexisted, they shared probably cultural uh, aspect, inventions and all that stuff, and they interbred. And what's exciting about the find near Sdeboker, near Kibbutz Sdeboker in, in the Negev, is that it's the southernmost place where we have concrete evidence that Neanderthals and modern humans actually met and lived in the same area together for about 6,000 years, carbon-14 evidence of that only place in the world where we can actually show it scientifically. All right, so it is it's so, so cool. It, can so can you give me a little bit more information about the about the proof that there was some sort of love story here because you're saying that they may they may we believe they have some cultural uh, overlap that they probably well, you, live together you, but where you know where where's the right. love story come so from? You say love story. I haven't seen anything that says love story. You're just mm -hmm. a romantic Aaron. But the thing is, what happens is we know that I believe, and now I'm not an expert at this, but I believe there are some groups of modern people around the world that carry about 2 to 3% of, of Neanderthal genes. We, we carry the Neanderthal genes in us. It's proof that we actually interbred, now we know, about 50 to 60,000 years ago. Wow. And we know that this happened Starting in the Negev, we also in the land in Israel we found um, the Anatol and 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 modern humans living together in the caves of the Carmel Mountains near the riverbanks of the Kishon River near Haifa. All right, but this is the southernmost part, and they actually have more modern um, ways of carbon dating this. So this is the most concrete scientific uh, proof that they live together. Now we know that they interbred because we today carry yeah. some genes from the Andatals who ended up going extinct about 40,000 years ago around the world. Right. Anat Harel, this is an incredible, <laughs> incredible, incredible discovery, and thank you so much for, for giving exciting. us some more information about it. Thank you. You're welcome.